to just a disturbing story. This all started with a post on a dating website, but this Blanchester man here wasn't looking for a hookup for himself. He was trying to find an adult to have sex with his four year old relative. WLWT News finds Karen Johnson is live for us in Blanchester with more tonight. Karen. And Sheree, a crime stopper tip more than a year ago started the ball rolling, and today it ended in federal court with a Blanchester man sentenced to 30 years in prison. This was a tip from Crime Stoppers. Like many criminal cases, this one started with a tip and ended in an arrest. But to get 37 year old Stuart Matthew Kidwell convicted of his sex crime against a child, it took a lot out of Hamilton County Sheriff's Detective Don Minnick. The investigation began in November 2013. Kidwell, who went by Matt, joined a dating website, but he wasn't looking for love. Instead, he wanted someone to rape his family member, a four year old, according to court documents. Detective Minnick went undercover. From text messaging back and forth, uh, we set up a meeting and he actually sent me pictures of the four year old in different positions uh, of him touching her. And uh, offered, offered he wanted me to have sex with her um, before he did. Court documents show Kidwell wanted to watch and ask the child be choked until she was unconscious. Within just a couple of weeks, Minnick was able to find out who Matt really was and where he lived here in Blanchester. The day we found out where he lived, the, ne the next morning we did the search warrant on his house. Today, Kidwell pleaded guilty in federal court to production of child pornography and was sentenced to 30 years in prison. He blamed it on medical conditions and that he couldn't get proper medication from his doctor. Not once did he apologize to the children or to anyone else. And detectives are still looking into whether there are any more victims. They tell me when they interrogated Kidwell, he admitted to having contact with at least four other children. Reporting live tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen, thank you. We are told the victim in this case is safe, living in another state now.